Well, peaches and herb moment in Carolina. Peaches and herb. Reunited, and it feels so good. Go ahead, Rick. Thank you. Well, if Steve's saying walk it out. Yeah, well, here's another block punt. Walk this out. Look at <laughs> Oh my goodness! And Is welcome, that Brandon back to, Lloyd. And welcome back to the NFL, yeah. Brandon Lloyd. Well, he grabs the uh, block yeah. punt right under the air. Yeah, a lot of block punts today. What's going on, special teams coaches? I don't know, Steve. No talent on the special teams. So it is. John Fox bumming. Maybe that's what he's saying. Bears take a seven nothing lead. Uh, Moussa Muhammad, who once said that Chicago is a place where wide receivers go to die. He never lied. Uh, he becomes the 29th player in NFL history with a 10,000. Plus receiving yard resume. He had a lot of those 10,000 in Chicago. But that drive ended without a score. It was Panthers uh, down 7 10 3 at the half, and that's the score in the third quarter when Jeff King can't corral it, and Charles Tillman takes the loose ball out of the air, a 26 yard return down to the Carolina 23. We've seen this quite a bit with that Chicago Bear defense taking the ball away and advancing. A couple it. plays later, Kyle Orton to who's, who is that Brandon Moore? Yes, it is. And then that led to Jason McKee touchdown. Nice second effort. 17-3. Next Carolina possession, how Jake DeLome got his groove back. DJ Hackett, 22 yards. Next play, this young man has a nose for the football. Jonathan Stewart. Player here. This was his coming out party. He runs strong. He's got good vision. He's got good instincts. He's going to be a player. Led to a Carolina field goal, 17-6. Deficit closed a bit. Uh, a moment of trepidation for Devin Hester. What does he do here? Rib cage, rib cage. Strain a little bit. He heard it in a play earlier than that, huh? But is his hands well enough to text? Is yeah, he text? yeah, yeah. He, he, he's strained a little rib cage. Okay. He's but he, lean, lean, ripped up. He did not return to the game, though. Next play, it's Greg Olson with his second fumble of the day. And this, unfortunately for Chicago, unfortunately for Carolina, does not roll out of bounds. But right to former Bear Chris Harris. And then five plays later, it's the Daily Show with Jonathan Stewart. He's got power, this guy. Touchdown. Morgan. So now the 17-3 lead is now 17-13, getting a little tighter in the fourth quarter. Jake DeLome finds Jeff King with four and change to go, not rule the touchdown. He's down at the one, which means it's now time for John Stewart. The Rook. What a great drive. That Jake DeLome now, he's a gritty guy. They love having him back. He's wearing the number of unanswered points he's just put up. 17, it's 20 to 17, Carolina. Last Whoa. drive for the Bears, almost picked by Chris Gamble on third and one. So fortunately, Lovey Smith has a, a chance to get it back. And Egan on fourth down, Lovey goes for it, and Makia Stones. <laughs> no. Oh, I'll go tell the others. <laughs> and that's the way the Bears lose a heartbreaker. Carolina is 2-0.